Northern Outer River State, where the state governor Nisam Wiki has directed the security agencies to raid any suspected area of premises and clamp down on cultists, militant support groups being used by politicians to disturb the peace, safety and security of the state. Mike gave the directive for the clampdown of court groups, militants and political thugs hide out in a state broadcast in Port Harcourt, following the rising cultism and related activities across River State. He urged anyone with useful information about the camps, gatherings, plans and activities of criminal elements and their sponsors to forward it to the security agencies for action. We also denounced the rising cases of cultism in the state during this reactionary period which are sponsored by politicians to settle political scores. I wish to warn that no responsible government will close its eyes to the threat posed by these cultists, fanatical party support groups, and their sponsors to free and fair elections in the state. We also denounce the rising cases of cultism in the state during this electionary period, which are sponsored by politicians to settle political scores. I wish to warn that no responsible government will close its eyes to the threat posed by these cultists, fanatical party support groups, and their sponsors to free and fair elections in the state. Governor Nwike reiterated that nothing would deter the state government from enforcing the laws of the state against those who vainly claim to be above them to raid any suspected area of premises and clamp down on courtists, militant support groups and other miscreants being used by politicians to disturb the peace, safety and security of the state. I wish to restate that no amount of syndicated misinformation, campaigns of calumny and dire traps by a section of the media and the political elites will deter the state government from enforcing the laws of the state against those who vainly claim to be above them. The governor assured that the state government will continue to support the security agencies to sustain the prevailing atmosphere of peace and security for voters to exercise their voting rights without fear of intimidation before, during and after the elections.